Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shehab. Today I have got something really cool to show you. I got this Pine Man 5 NVMe M2 SSD PCI mini case. This is a very sleek design, very stylish. Look at the size of this. It's not only stylish, this is a powerhouse actually. Especially designed for Raspberry Pi 5. This mini PC, uh, PC case brings professional features like support for NVMe M.2 SSDs, PCI expansion, and active cooling, all wrapped up in a compact design. Awesome. Here's the box in box case. Nice cool design. All the information in the box. I'm going to show you unboxing and assembling part after this. And this is the case I already built. I have to admit, I didn't install the cooler. This is the cooler, comes with Pine Man 5. Look at the size of this. Instead, I use my own heat sink, mostly because I am a bit, bit too lazy to take it out. Uh, but don't worry, I'll still give you a full rundown of what comes in the box and why it's game changer. All right, I have got the box. Let's go open the box. I'm going to open. We got the protective cover and we got some instructions and also all the parts. So I'm going to keep the this one in here so we can go one by one. Okay, we got something in here. It bit you some cover and got the cooling cover. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here and we got some kind of light pipe. Okay, it says light pipe. So I got the light pipe here. That's very tiny light pipe. And next, what we got here, we got a battery, a button battery. Can see. I'm going to put that here. And what this is, a power switch. So this is the power switch. And we got the fan. I'm trying to find the fan. So we should have two fans. So we got one. And we got the second one. Nice. I'm going to put that away. Next, what we got here. And let me go ahead and open this. Okay, so. All right, so this is the one. So this is USB HDMI adapter. You can see we have HDMI two ports, USB C port here. Nice. I'm gonna put that away. Now what next? We got uh, uh, seems like FPC. This is the F no actually OLD OLED screen. OLED screen. Okay, so this is very tiny. So I'm gonna put that away. And what we got here is a micro SD extender. We got some stuff in here, a thermal pad, and some cables. Let me go ahead and open this one. It's NVMe uh, pip. Yes, it's the NVMe pip. And that way, I believe this is this is I/O expander. This is the IO expander. A bunch of stuff. This is a power switch converter. Some screws. Some screws. A lot of screws. We got a key. We assemble. We got a lot of screws. Screws. And we got a screwdriver. Finally, we got the, the case. Hmm. I'm going to put this protective cover away. Okay, so we have all the stuff now. Let's go ahead and assemble this B.
right, once you have got your Pine Man 5 fully assembled, there's just one more step setting setting it up. To get everything running smoothly, head over to head over to the official Pine Man 5 documentation at Sun Founders website. You can say https uh, sunfounder.com. Go to the website and click here. Detailed online tutorials can be found here. Click that one. I highly recommend follow their documentation because I know I I did their robotic stuff and I have to follow their out, uh, guidelines because they change some stuff, firmware and stuff. So uh, don't do it by yourself. If you think this is easy, that's fine. But I highly recommend to go and look their documentation. Now you can see assemble instructions there, installing the operating system, set up install the software. So if you click here, uh, first you need to download and install the required software. The documentation provides uh, links and detailed steps to install the driver packages that enable OLED screen, fan control and everything. So you need to follow this guideline. All right guys, that's all from me. So this, the package, I didn't get the FPC uh, the cables that's why I cannot use my my uh, NVMe SSD card but that's fine they send me for free to take a look so if they send me free please make sure all the parts inside in the box just in case who are watching this if you are like to purchase make sure all the parts is there if I want to purchase I definitely purchase this uh, PC mini because it's so sleek and nice design Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, I'm totally understand. Uh, so please give me a comments. If you have any issues, if you like or you don't, if you don't like it, just comment in the section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.